Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, we are going to be freeze drying some pork. Let's get going. All right, I've busted out the Harvest Right freeze dryer and we're going to be doing some more freeze drying. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. I've been doing a lot of cooking other than YouTube stuff for another obligation. And believe me, I have been feeding my neighborhood a lot of food and I decided, you know, I'm gonna reserve some for us. And I thought the freeze dryer was a perfect way of saving this stuff. So I'll show you what I have here. This is what's left over of a pork shoulder that I kind of treated with a tacos al pastor kind of a marinade. It's got a lot of pineapple juice and there's pineapple chunks floating around in here. And this was frozen for a few days because we went out of town, came back, thawed it out. It's got a kind of a funky texture to it now. And I'm thinking it's because some of the enzymes in the pineapple maybe broke down the pork. It still tastes good, but it's gonna be interesting to see how it freeze dries. Right here, we just have some regular old pulled pork. So let's get this stuff freeze drying. All right, you guys remember this thing. This is my Harvest Right freeze dryer. I did a video where I freeze dried all the components for a cheeseburger and then made a cheeseburger. And I was pretty darn impressed. I'm looking forward to this. We're going to freeze dry a bunch of pork and I'm gonna be able to take it with me backpacking or out to the desert, whatever. Anyway, let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is load up these shelves here in this cylinder. All right, next thing we're going to do is insert this, just basically an insulated cushion. Seals up the opening here. This big old acrylic door gets shut, locked, and we are ready to go. First thing we're going to do is push the start button. It's a reminder to please close the drain valve. There's a drain valve that is open while it's defrosting. It's closed, so we're going to hit continue. Okay, now it's freezing. Basically, this is a nine hour process. After the freezing part is done, then it goes into the drying process where heaters actually turn on. It's pretty wild how this thing works. Total time for the freeze dry process is 20 hours. So I'll see you guys in 20 hours. When it's done, we'll rehydrate some of this product and see how it tastes. See you in 20 hours. All right, I am back and I bear freeze dried pork. Now these were actually completed last night, but it was kind of close to my bedtime. I didn't feel like dragging out the camera. So I went ahead and sealed up the pork in these Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. I always struggle saying that, oxygen absorbers. And uh, I just wanted to do this to make sure that they weren't going to be soaking up any of the humidity that we've got going on right now here in San Diego. So let's go ahead and open these up. So I have here the pulled pork. Now, each one of these bags are about one half of the, of the pork shoulder, so I have a total of four of these bags. And I don't know if you can see it, but I went ahead and marked these, you know, pulled pork. I dated them. They have the little uh, notches here. Yeah, let me see it. I'll tear it. I just wanted to reseal it. Yeah, see, it's not the straightest pull. I mean, these are not made, I guess, uh, with resealing in mind, so I'll just put them in a new bag. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get some of this pulled pork out here. So, yeah, it always feels so weird. Anyway, let's give you a little close-up here if I can. There you go, pulled pork. Smells really good, smells really porky. I didn't really explain this. I was kind of rushing when I started this video. So this was a pork shoulder seasoned it with a rub, dry rub, and I smoked it at 250 degrees. It's more traditional. Now let's get to this. Again, that al pastor. It's not really traditional al pastor, but I used you know, some al pastor flavors on this pork. And again, as I said, this definitely changed from freezing. 
it's a lot more kind of powdery, I guess. And here, there's a nice chunk right there. So this pork here, I'll tell you what I did. This, I, I marinated it in a lot of the al pastor type Mexican seasonings with some pineapple juice. And after marinating it, I marinated it for about 16 hours. I basically barbecue roasted this on my Weber indirect heat, about 350 degrees, and I basted it with that marinade. Now, as I told you at the beginning of this video, my family and I, we went out of town for about three days. So I threw all this stuff in bags and tossed it in the freezer. And after thawing, this definitely changed textures. I mean, it's, you know, it was a lot more mushy than it was before. It wasn't mushy. Um, it was more kind of a pulled pork texture. So kind of odd. And I'm thinking it's probably the enzymes in the pineapple that did that. So I'm really happy with this. You can see it's, you know, Still just looks like pulled pork. It's dry though. Let me try a piece of this. I'm gonna try a piece the way it is. That's a good snack. This is actually, I can see this kind of being like cracklins almost. And I have here some water. This has been heated to about 130 degrees. And again, we're not cooking this. We're not boiling it. We are simply rehydrating it, but I want it to be hot, just how it would be if I were to be eating this fresh. So I'm just pouring this in and just more or less watching the pork. And we'll get it on this again. This is going to be a little different, I think, with the texture. Wow. But I'll tell you what, this, you know, al pastor kind of pork, I'm smelling the pineapples waking up. It smells really, really good. So I'm gonna get a fork. Just make sure everything gets coated. It's definitely getting that, this again, the al pastor has a lot more of kind of a mushy thing going on than this. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this to rehydrate. And I'm expecting 10 or 15 minutes. So obviously, I'm shutting the cameras off. See you guys in a bit. All right, it literally only took about five minutes for this stuff to uh, reconstitute. Very, very happy with the pulled pork. Let's go with this first. See that? I mean, it, uh, it looks and smells like fresh pulled pork, has a texture. Very tender. I mean, I always, it almost makes me laugh every time I do this because it's shocking how fresh it tastes. And I've done a lot of backpacking, a lot of backpacking in my life. And this stuff does not, I mean, the stuff you buy, I'm not going to mention the names, but we all, anybody that does any backpacking or food prep type stuff knows the names I'm talking about, doesn't compare to homemade, freeze-dried stuff, the foods that I like to eat. All right, now let's go with this. I tasted this, and it, it tastes good. If it looked, all looked like this, I'd be very, very satisfied. I'm not at all pleased with the texture of most of this, again, that kind of Mexican al pastor kind of pork thing. It tastes really good. It's just there's um, a lot of it here that kind of turned into a, a mush. And again, I know it's because of all the pineapple in there. It just wasn't really meant to hold that long. Let me show you a picture of the tacos I made with this. And while I'm at it, I'll show you the pulled pork sandwich. This was some good stuff, but yeah, the being you know frozen and then thawed out and then freeze dried it just kind of turned it into a like a baby food kind of a consistency it tastes really good though very 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 pleased with this pulled pork i mean this is i'm actually i'm going to have this for dinner let's get down to the beer gotta get my fancy drinking glass out so today, 
I'm going to be drinking a local beer, local craft beer here in San Diego. It's from the Thorn Brewery. Thorn, it's named after Thorn Street here in San Diego. So you see it's got like a raccoon on a bike. This is a Baja style lager and it is called Barrio Lager and it, it's kind of paying homage to a neighborhood in San Diego called Barrio Logan, which is it's a Hispanic neighborhood. It's been a Hispanic neighborhood for generations and some of the best Mexican food north of the border. I, I promise you that if you guys are ever in San Diego, there's some great places. They're like really authentic Mexican restaurants. So Baja style lager. This beer has a gorgeous, gorgeous color to it. Not a real heavy, thick head, but it's a nice foamy head there. Let's give it a shot. It smells really good. Wow, very clean tasting. This is good. First time I've ever had this beer. It is good. There you have it. Freeze dried pork pairs well with a Baja style lager. Cheers, Thorne. This is great. I'm going to have to check that, that little brewery out. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in checking out the Harvest Right freeze dryers, I'll have an affiliates link down below. Please click on it. Give it a look. Um, this is a quality piece of equipment, and I've been having a lot of fun with this. I'm thinking my next video, I want to do a freeze dried steak. And I've watched a few freeze dried steak videos where they've reconstituted and cooked them. What I'm thinking about doing is actually reconstituting the raw steak, sous vide it, cooking it sous vide, and then searing it off to, to see if how steak-like it becomes afterwards. But I have not freeze-dried a steak yet. I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, um, anything you want to see freeze-dried, post in the uh, comment box down below, please. I appreciate it. See you on the next video. Cheers.